So, hey guys, welcome to a new video. Um, this past horse and training experience boost event made me realize something, um, which is that a lot of my friends were doing it. And they were smashing their fingers in their space bar during the event and going crazy. And when I asked them to stream it for me on Discord so I see what they're doing, they were all doing the same thing. And they all jumped on me being like, stop being a smart ass. Everybody says that this is how you do it. We've seen it in videos, every video is the same, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay. So I went and I searched for those horse capturing guide videos and I quickly took a look at a few of those guides and I noticed that each one of them, at least one of those that I saw, um, they all have the same flaw. With that said, I want to make a small disclaimer and say that all of those guides are really good. Some more, some less. Um, they all contain a lot of useful information, but none of the guides that I watched actually goes to tell you how to capture horses efficiently and, I'm going to use this term quite loosely, intelligently. Also, I want to make it clear, what I'm about to share doesn't matter much to you if you only capture one horse per week. But if you plan on capturing a lot of horses to power level your training, trust me, both your fingers, your hands and your keyboard is going to be extremely thankful. Another thing, I don't plan on, and I will not go over buffs and consumables in this video. I'm only going to show you the two things that are the most important things when it comes when it comes to optimizing your horse capture rate and your horse capture minigame. I will though leave a link in the description for you guys to join a BDO horse community discord where you will find um, all the information you might ever need about anything horse related in, in BDO and you will also as an amazing bonus uh, find a lot of great people who share the same interest in horses and training life skill within the BDO. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you first what those two things are and then I'm gonna capture a horse and you're gonna see in an, in a, an example uh, what I'm talking about. So the thing number one is when you throw a rope at the horse and you start moving toward the horse, the horse will prance. I think prance is the correct word. It's gonna to it's gonna lift its front front legs up, and as soon as that happens, the game is gonna send you a visual indicator to press the space bar. You don't want to do that. You don't want to press space bar immediately. What you want to do is you want to keep walking to the horse, and you pay attention to the animation of the prance and as and press space as soon as the horse hits the ground. So we are not pressing space when the horse starts going up, we are pressing space when the horse gets his front legs down on the ground. Why do we do this? We do this because it enables us to cover as much distance from the point where we threw the rope to the horse as possible in, in the given time. And by doing that, we are lowering the possibility of a uh, space mini game where you smash the space bar happening again. We are lowering the chance of the horse prouncing again. That's the thing number one. Thing number two is when you press space bar, there is zero, I repeat, zero need to smash your space bar straight away. Wait until the timer is at three seconds or at two seconds or even at one second if you think you're quick and fast. You can practice and try it out, see which number works out for you. And then you spam space bars. And instead of 10 seconds of torture, you will only endure three seconds or two seconds or let it be even four or five seconds. But it's still going to be much less than 10 seconds of constantly trying to smash space bar. Okay, so with that out of the way, let, let's demonstrate those two things on an actual horse. So, and I'm moving toward the horse and I'm waiting. See, he put his head, uh, feet down and then I press space. And now I'm waiting. I'm going to wait for four seconds. Spam space. And I keep moving. Wait for the feet to come down. Press space. Wait. No need to smash space, 
Wait a bit. See, plenty of time. Two seconds, one second, zero. And I come to the horse. Press F5. You can give him a uh, sugar. He was a good horse. And you mount. As easy as that. So now I'm going to um, do it again, but I need to. Um, so, see a horse. Let's find one where we can that we can see well. This one. And we move, and he's gonna lift his feet up, and we wait until it's there down, and we press space. And now we don't smash space like maniacs. Gonna wait until five, four. I'm gonna wait for three. Smash it. Plenty of time. And we keep moving toward the horse. And we keep space when his feet are down. Again, wait for a few seconds. See, plenty of time. And there we go. We are at the horse. It's really that simple. This, to some of you, this might seem silly. But imagine if you are going to be spending hours during the next horse capturing event trying to power level your training. This is going to help you tremendously over that period of couple of hours. And um, yeah, that's it. It's a good horse. Let's give him a... Uh, it cannot be used. I'm sorry. Let's give him a... Uh, let's give him some sugar. A good boy or a good girl. And uh, we're going to set him free. We're not going to bully that horse. We never bully horses. That's it. Again, uh, if you care about consumables, I mean, quick run through. These two things are the most important. Buy two trainer clothes. Use tailoring coupon on this one. Uh, all the buffs and stuff uh, you can find on the horse discord. Again, I will leave the description link into the description of the video. Join the community. Hang out with people, amazing people there, very knowledgeable. If you have any questions, drop them down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.